lie around and draw. Hey, I'm Conita, and I just want to say to everybody that has shown me some love from my first video. I've had such a great response. People have really shown an interest when I said message me. You really took that seriously. But I appreciate all the love and I genuinely hope that this is going to open up doors for everybody. A platform for knowledge, for something, um, a place where you can take in information at your level. So to get right into it, to get this video started, um, you can see here that I have got a range of beautiful, beautiful herbs. No, I'm just joking. But that is the standard of these guys. Trichoma, follow them. They're amazing. They're doing some really, really fantastic work. You'll see some great community projects coming out of them as well. And I have been given the honor of actually showcasing some of these strains. Like I said in the first video, um, they've got a variety as you can see. And with my videos, I will... Um, give you some insight as to what the standard is that you can actually get um we're leveling up now no today um i've got something called king kong Let's see if you can see it i don't know like i don't have fancy camera equipment and shit so this strain is called king kong it's an indica dominant hybrid and for those that don't understand like the big words that we faced with on social media that makes it intimidating for us to actually want to find out more um an indica dominant if ever you see the word indica it basically means it's going to be a body eye or more so of a body eye so i chose this strain out of the batch i mean there were many for me to choose from but i chose the king kong because indica dominant hybrid King Kong is an indica dominant hybrid. So that's like a, like, a, like a soft, sweet um, undertone. But it also has like a piney vibe going on, but like also like a, a very woody, skunky vibe with it also. I don't know. Let's not that's it. You put the weed in the grinder and you grind it all up. You put the weed in the grinder and you grind it all up. But you must remember to close the thing up. The sound in my household is like the calling. Come, come, dear people. There is weed in town. But I'm actually just shaking it through. The scratches in the grinder. Yeah, let me just show you something. This is what my um, papers look like because. I never have tips. I, I use all the tips and then I'm too lazy to get more and then this ends up of my actual stash of papers. But yeah, I always suggest buying um, like some kind of organic hemp paper. I don't enjoy the resinous. I don't advise that you buy that option. You know, different strokes for different folks, but um, the hemp papers, if ever you see hemp, on your papers that you're buying to roll your joints up, buy that over like tobacco wraps. I don't enjoy blunts, tobacco blunts. I'm hoping to try some hemp blunts soon. See if we can get some our hands on um, some hemp blunts and we can experience that. But so anyway, so yeah, so this is what my, my stuff looks like. Um, and then, yeah, it becomes smaller and smaller because I need a grip. And if you guys want me to like do some tutorials on like how to roll a very basic joint or how to take a rip of a bong um, Let me know because I can add those into um, the videos or I might just even do like separate a separate video like a how to kind of a the joint is rolled I do this I don't know how many of you guys do this um, if you on my um, Facebook then in the comment of this video on Facebook 
um, show me how you roll your joints or like take a picture of your joints so I don't pack I um, very dangerously do this and I've had many a times when the gyric just goes flying the weed goes flying everywhere and I'm so like I feel like I prepared I'm really I'm doing the research and things in terms of like what the, how, how do you um, put together these kinds of videos <coughs> um, just a moment I need an ashtray no ashtray so it's very skunky like it's very It's a very skunky um, buzz, and it also has like you can you can even almost taste that sweet that sweetness on your tongue when you actually take that drag. Like if you um, swirl it around in your mouth a little bit, you you actually get those sweet tones. Um, it's actually divine. Yeah, it's my first time I'm smoking this King Kong. I love it. Okay, so this is a bit awkward. Only upon editing this video did I realize the last sticky of the video didn't even record. But you know we always make a plan. So this is just some feedback as to the King Kong that we smoked um, in the um, earlier parts of this video. It made me feel very relaxed. And it put me in a very, very happy mode, almost uplifting, if you will. So I would suggest that if it is um, a very stressful day or you know that you, you know, heading to a meeting or um, at work, it's, it's just going to be one of those days at work. I recommend about two, two drags of this in the morning. It really puts you in a wonderfully relaxed mode, um, but not... Um, to the point where you can't function really and the uplifting sensations really really do bring the spirits up so if you're suffering um, with stress or depression fantastic strain and of course we we mentioned that it's an indica strain so it gives you that body relief um, that body high if you will so it's also great for pain if you are suffering with pain king kong is your bra Drugs are bad.